Our next guest worked closely with Senator McCain back in 2007 on the plan for immigration reform that failed and is frequently sought out by members of his own party on this matter. He's Congressman Mario Diaz Bilar. He's a Republican from Florida, joins us now from Miami this morning uh, with his view. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. As we mentioned, you are somewhat, you know, among your colleagues, a go-to on immigration reform. Uh, some say, though, what is going to be different this time around uh, versus back in 2007 when you worked with McCain? on reform. Here's the difference. Look, both parties, the leadership of both parties, Republicans and Democrats, have used immigration reform as a wedge issue, as a campaign issue. Now, we've seen that it's worked really well for the Democrats, and it's been dismal for the Republicans. Mm -hmm. I think now there is the realization that we have to finally get it done. I think everybody in the country understands that the system is absolutely broken, uh, and uh, frankly, Congress has been sitting on the sidelines just kind of pretending that it's going to go away. It hasn't gone away. It will not go away. What's changed now is I think the leadership of both parties understand that the American people are demanding that we actually get things done, and this is one of the things that everybody understands is broken. Well, it sounded like from what McCain was talking about, you know, that the Republicans have to show a bit more, uh, I guess, I guess reasonableness when it comes to immigration, uh, in the sense that, you know, a lot of the focus, as you know, Congressman, has been on border control among Republicans. That has not played out well among Latino voters who are your constituents. Well, because this, look, everybody understands, and I think everybody agrees, uh, that the United States has the right, and I will say the obligation, to determine who comes in and who leaves. The United States can't be the only country that can't control its borders. But that's only part of the problem. You know, we have 10 or 11 million people here, and ignoring that reality doesn't go away. Senator McCain has called that de facto amnesty, and he's absolutely right. Ignoring the fact um, that our immigration system is broken. It's broken for, our, for, for everything, our national security interests, our economic interests. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the Republicans, again, have, have, have focused on one aspect of it, yes. not on dealing with most well, of the and, reality. Well, are they waking up, though, because they realize, as we saw clearly uh, in this last presidential election, that the Latino voter is becoming more and more powerful? And it's not only the Latino voter, it's, you know, it's the immigrant vote, uh, it's, it's, you know, Asians. Everybody understands uh, that this is an important issue. Look, I think the good news is this. There are Republicans and Democrats of goodwill in the House and in the Senate who have always been willing to work together to try to solve this issue. Mm -hmm. The difference is that now leadership from both parties, because the Democratic leadership never wanted to get it done before either. Now, both leaderships, I think, want to get it done. I think the president, who frankly didn't want to get it done in the past either, want to get it done. And there's a number of us who've been working at it. All we need is an opportunity to have the issue heard, and hopefully we'll finally resolve this issue once and for all. Uh, give me the timeline, Congressman, uh, in your view, because I think the Senator Chuck Schumer said yesterday that there could be some sort of legislation uh, put together by March and that it could possibly even be passed by, uh, by this summer. Is that, uh, you know, is that in keeping with what you believe? Well, I think that if we don't do it this year, uh, it won't get done for the next four or five years. So I think it has to be the first year of this Congress. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if the House has a bill before the Senate. Uh, Congressman, there was something interesting I, I read today in, a, in one of our Bloomberg stories, which is that uh, two-thirds of Latinos here in the United States know somebody who is an undocumented worker. And so this is why this is obviously an issue. As you say, this is not just about Latinos, but I'm just focused on them for a moment. Uh, that they know somebody who's undocumented, and that's why this issue is so important for them. Uh, would someone that you know, for instance, uh, if we saw real immigration reform come out from their status, their illegal status, and apply for legal status knowing that they would not be deported. Would that be a reality? Most people want to be here legally, obviously. Um, that's number one. Number two is we have to have, frankly, once and for all, have a zero tolerance, no nonsense immigration security issue, uh, uh, pro, uh, the situation. So we have to secure the border, no nonsense, no excuses, first and foremost, then have a way that people can have a legal process to come to the United States and then have a process where the people here can come forward, can pay taxes, can pay fines, right, can make sure, you, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to violate the, the rule of law. Right. But for the 11 million who are undocumented, how, you, how do you make it attractive enough for them to come out essentially uh, from behind the scenes uh, and say that they want to apply for legal status uh, if in fact uh, there could be repercussions on that? How do you make it safe for them? Because people need to understand that the repercussions for not going forward, coming forward are very severe. Uh, and that is deportation, real deportation. If you don't come forward, if you're here illegally, uh, if you, either you don't come forward, uh, and so therefore you're still illegal, 
or uh, you come in illegally later, there have to be uh, automatic deportations. So that's why it is all encompassing. It has to, we have to deal with all of the aspects that are broken. Uh, it's got to deal with security. It's got to deal with a system that works for people to come in and out. Mm -hmm. It's got to have a, an aspect for ag workers. It has, uh, we have to stop deporting uh, the people that we educate in our finest universities and then send them out uh, to compete against us. Uh, all of those issues have to be dealt with. We have to deal with the kids who were brought here illegally from, by their parents, but that right. they didn't make that decision. Uh, we have to deal with that once and for all. Look, the solutions are there. We know what the problem is. We know what's, what, what some of the solutions are. The question is, do we have the political will finally to get it done? And I'm optimistic that hopefully we will. Okay, by this year. Congressman, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Congressman Mario Diaz-Balart from Florida.